If you haven't yet signed up for Canva Pro, what are you waiting for? Because not only do they constantly come out with new amazing updates, features, and new tools, but their continuous release of app after app is insane. And I mean that in a good way, insanely good. I'll put a link in my description so you could try Canva Pro free for 30 days. So today I'm gonna show you some of Canva's newest amazing apps. These apps can all be used directly within Canva itself, and they'll take your creativity to the next level. So with that said, now let's get ready to level up. So the first one we're going to take a look at today, it's called Image Animate. And very quickly, before I forget, I wanted to show you one very important thing. If you have access to my ChatGPT Mega Prompts database, this is the one you actually see on your screen right now, that contains over 3,000 prompts for every category imaginable. But one of the newest tabs I just added up here at the very top, it's called Canva Magic. So if you don't have access to this database, I'll put a link in my description but if you weren't aware did you know that you can actually turn canva into a prompt generating machine so if you haven't seen these videos i highly recommend you check these out as well because you can actually turn canva into a prompt generator to create prompt after prompt for you and that's what you're looking at on this screen right here all right so here we are back in canva and like i said the very first app is called image animate so just simply type it in the search bar image animate and then here we have it right here elevate your design photo to video magic with image animate so basically what you can do is you could transform any image into an actual video let's go ahead and try this out right now I'll select use in a new design and what I like to do for simplicity is always just choose a YouTube thumbnail because it gives me a nice wide aspect ratio over on the left hand side it says select an image in the design to animate so since we don't have an image in here yet let me go ahead and bring in one of my past uploads okay so let's just start with this one right here here is an upload right here of Scarlett Johansson that I made in Leonardo AI. Now I'm back over here in image animate and you can see automatically she appears in the left hand taskbar. So I could choose auto animate or motion parallax. We'll keep it simple and just do auto for right now. But if I chose motion parallax, a lot more options will appear. Okay, we have animation length, number of loops, duration, and then we could choose a camera path anywhere from horizontal all the way down to step left to step down. Pretty amazing. So I'll do auto animate just to kind of see what this can create for us. Let's go ahead and now select generate. And it says, please wait. This could take about one to two minutes. Okay, looks like it's done. Now check this out over on the left hand side. This did a phenomenal job. We could see her already start to move. Let's go ahead and add to our design right here. It's going to think I'll remove this image for now. And as it loads, it's going to pan from left to right, really making this a real video. Look at that. That did a phenomenal job. Not bad at all, considering this is a free app to use directly within Canva. Okay. Okay, moving on, here is the next one I wanna share with you guys. Now this one is very exciting because I know in my past videos, there have been a ton of comments on what prompts to use in order to generate specific style of coloring books or coloring book pages. Now look at this, you'll be happy to discover that Canva now offers this app and it's quite simply called Coloring Book. Coloring Book is an app that turns text descriptions into a coloring book style, allowing users to bring their imagination to life. So we can look at a couple of these uh, examples and I got to tell you it looks pretty amazing again let's use a new design okay once it opens up over here on the left hand side automatically this prompt box comes up okay and that's where we have to type our information go ahead and come up with an idea simply type it in and just to make it easy let's go ahead and then just select try an example okay a cozy living room with a fireplace and a bookshelf select to generate and then let's see what this can produce for us now one key thing to keep in mind with this app coloring book and then also other apps as well within Canva, you're only going to get a certain amount of tokens each day. So for this coloring book one, you're only going to get five credits for now. However, if you look down in the bottom left hand corner, it says you get five credits every single day. So that's not bad specifically because it's free. But now here we are. Check this out. Here is the image it made for us. Fantastic. So it's exactly what we were looking for. A cozy living room with a fireplace. That's exactly what this is. So if you're looking for coloring books or prompts to generate coloring books, I think this will give you exactly what you're looking for. Okay, moving on to the next one. It's called font frame, vibrant text with image backgrounds. Add an image background to your text by uploading an image or selecting an image from your design. Change the font, adjust the image placement and more. And so we can look at some of these examples right here. Hello world. But notice the actual filling of the text is an actual image. So let's try this one. Right now our text is hello world. Let's change this up to uh, metrics mule. 
and then I'll do mule right below it. Okay. And then we could select image scale right here. Look how I'm toggling this bar right here. And then notice in the top left hand corner, my image, depending on the scale, it's going to allow me to determine what appears in the actual letters. So let's go ahead and choose file. But before we do that, you could choose settings next to it. And then this is where you can actually select different fonts and alignments, outline thickness, etc. So this looks pretty good so far. Now let's go ahead and then choose an image. Okay. This image looks like something and that might be pretty cool with some cool gradient colors. Oh, wow. And then look at that. Immediately, it appears up in the top left-hand corner. That's exactly what I was looking for. And now what I'll do is adjust the image scale. Now, check this out. As I adjust it, now you can see it's going to be placed within my text. So you can kind of make out that silhouette of a woman right there. I think it's pretty cool if I can have her kind of placed where it shows the full body. So this looks like a really cool placement right there. Now, since this is already done, let's go ahead and select Add to Design. Look at this right here. This is amazing. One of my new favorite apps in Canva. Okay, this next one, it's called Frame Maker. Okay, here it is right here. Now, generate custom Canva frames easily. It comes with preset shapes that you can customize and generate your desired shape. Now, I know many people have been wanting something like this in Canva. That way you can make these customized frames and then put any sort of image you want in it. Let's go ahead and try this one. Again, YouTube landscape. Here it is opened up on the left hand side. It starts to appear. And now we have options that we could choose from. Okay. So down here at the bottom, I can look at all of these different shapes. Let's go ahead and choose one of these odd ones like this. This is pretty cool, but notice how awesome this is. Since I have a shape chosen up here in the frame maker box, I can actually even edit it and then move these points around to really get a unique and different style of shape. Let's just go ahead and get something completely different and unique. Some Something we couldn't have gotten otherwise. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and then use this one. Now I can also remove points by clicking on it and then simply selecting move point and it will remove one of these little points right here. But for the most part, this looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and now add to design. Now here it is in my design. Okay. Now you might ask yourself, what do we do next? Simple. I'm going to open up some of my images or I can go to elements in Canva. Now, one thing I love about Canva is that they have a ton of stock images. So I'm going to type in just AI. Okay. Let's just see what comes up with AI. I'll select photo and let's just go ahead and go with this first one with this robot. Grab this and now just grab and drag it right here into that frame. And just like that, that robot, this stock photo instantly fits in there perfectly into this frame. Once it's in here, I can now click and drag it around. Now I can really add some uniqueness to my design. So for an example, if I want to add this background, right? Here's my background. I'll make it expand over the whole entire design. It's covering up my little bot, but if I hit position and now layer, I'll just move my frame up to the top. And now there it is right here. Beautiful looking job. This is going to be a perfect tool that you could use for any sort of thumbnail like YouTube thumbnails. Okay, moving on to the next one. This is called Flower Artist. Now, here is something important to keep in mind. Whenever you're searching for these apps, it's important to make sure that you get the spacing right. If I add Flower Artist like this to where there's a space between the two words, it's going to be harder to show up, even though it's still here. But since there's no space between Flower Artist, it's just one word, basically. Now it's going to appear a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and expand it. Transform text in the flower art. So it basically speaks for itself. You could see what sort of images you're going to get. And this looks pretty unique. Okay. Let's go ahead and try this one in a new design. Again, now on the left-hand side, it's going to automatically default to flower artist settings. And all we have to do is just type in anything that we want for simplicity's sake. Let's just go ahead and then use what they already have. I'll select try example. Okay. A daisy chain forming the shape of a heart. Pretty cool. Now, another thing to keep in mind again, down here in the bottom left, it says you have five credits left. You get five credits every single day. That's cool. It's free. So no complaints from me. Select generate image, wait a few seconds, and then instantly you're going to get something that appears in the middle of your screen that is pretty unique. And then just like that, there it is. That looks pretty amazing. Okay, let's remove this one. I want to try the one that's already highlighted right here. An elephant made of orange flowers. Let's try this. And I'll just change the color. An elephant made of blue. Let's try blue and purple flowers. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Generate image, an elephant made of blue and purple flowers. Just like that, we get exactly what we were looking for. This looks pretty amazing. 
It's everything I wanted, blue and purple, elephant with plenty of flowers. Okay, now moving on to the next one. Here it is, it's called Image Upscaler. This has been quite a request, okay? It's exactly what it says it is. Elevate your image resolution with AI. Here's a couple examples, and you can notice, look how blurry this picture is of this girl, and now look at the after. Next page, now top left-hand corner, look at this one, and then even this cat. And on the left-hand side, it automatically appears. And so I'll select a file, let's, let's see if I can get this one to work right here. It might be already upscaled enough, but you can see upscale options limited. It says my image is already high resolution. Okay, so let's remove this one and find something that isn't already upscaled. Now, I uploaded an image of myself. It says it's already upscaled, but let's just go ahead and try it just in case. Now, just to show you guys what the difference might be, here it is. Here is an old image of myself. It's not really upscaled. It's an older photo, and uh, it's kind of blurry a little bit, and you could barely make out my face in the branches. Let's X out of this, and let's see what this final image can do now it's already done that was pretty quick now let's slide this back and forth to see if we can notice a difference and i think just like that i already can notice a difference let's add to my design and there it is right there oh definitely this has definitely been upscaled now just to show you guys that it definitely has been upscaled here is the comparison between the two okay left hand side is the original one and now the one on the right hand side is the upscaled version you might not be able to tell but believe me when you're here looking at it in person definitely is a big time difference. To have this tool available in Canva is amazing, specifically that it's free, and not only that, it doesn't appear that you're gonna get a credit allowance. Okay, now moving on, here is the next one. It's called Neon Artist. Bring your text to life with Neon Art. So it's basically like the flower one. However, this time, any text I type in, it's gonna automatically create an image, but all neon colors. Okay, let's see how this is gonna look. Again, left-hand side, all we have to do is simply just type in a prompt. This says a steaming cup of coffee. Let's just try that. Okay, now I'll select generate image. Now this one gives you four credits every single day. So if you exhaust all four today, tomorrow, you'll get a brand new fresh set of four credits. Now this only takes a few seconds. Once it's done, let's see the magic appear right in the middle of our page. Oh, and there we have it. Amazing. That looks pretty cool. It's exactly what we were looking for. A steaming cup of coffee, although we got two, this did do a pretty good job. I love the fact that just immediately, if you're looking for a neon design, just type in the prompt and neon is what you're going to get. You don't have to worry about putting in specific keywords in a prompt like the words neon, fluorescent, etc. It's going to be neon every single time. Okay, now here is this next one. This one is called Colorize. This will also be extremely helpful, especially for those people who want to just bring old images to life, especially those that might be black and white or even like a sepia sort of color. Look at this right here. Look at the different examples. Okay, I'll go back to the first one. We can turn this black and white photo to a vibrant, colorful flower landscape. The same thing with this left and right. And then we have another one right here of these groups of people. So if you have any old time photos, Colorize is going to do exactly what you need it to do. Okay, let's go ahead and use in a new design. I don't have any old time photos myself, but here's what we're going to do. It says upload a black and white or grayscale image or select one in your design to colorize. Okay, so the only thing I have is actually a AI generated image I just recently made. Now, the only problem is, is that everything's black and white except for her lips because of the red lipstick, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and try this just to see what this could come up with. Oh, wow, amazing. I really wasn't expecting it to turn out this well. Look at this. It did a really amazing job. Nice. So just as an example, here is my original image right here. Okay, black and white. Everything's black and white except for just the red lipstick. Now, once I remove it, now look at that. Amazing job. It basically kept the red lipstick, although a little bit different, but now it added color all the way around. This did a phenomenal job. Very helpful, specifically for for those people who have older images that you want to bring back to life. Okay, moving on to the next one. This one is called Cartoonist. Take your imagination to the world of fantasy. Create unique and visually appealing cartoon images from your text descriptions with Cartoonist. And again, top left-hand corner, just simply type in your prompt or your description. Okay, so I'll just select a girl riding a bike at the beach. Okay, simple enough. Let's go ahead and generate this image. Again, this one gives us four credits every single day. But listen, completely free to use, so four, I'm not 
not going to complain. And now look, just like that, I got exactly what I was looking for. Definitely a girl riding a bike on the beach. And this did generate this pretty quickly, pretty impressive. Okay, which now brings us to our last but not least one. This is called Ultra Real. Again, very similar. Create high quality, realistic images used in a new design. So I just said a woman in the mountains hiking at sunset, generate image, and let's see how ultra realistic this actually turns out. Okay, not bad. There it is. That's exactly what I was looking for. It gives every characteristic is exactly my description. A woman, she's hiking, she's in the mountains, and that is definitely sunset. Not bad at all. Pretty amazing that these are all available in Canva completely free at no extra cost. All you have to do is have a Canva Pro subscription. So there you have it. 11 amazing AI apps that you you can use in Canva anytime you want. And if you don't have a Canva Pro subscription, I highly recommend you do. Canva is one of those apps I always say, it's one of my top three can't live without apps. Links in the description, make sure you check those out. And thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. Until then, we'll see you next time.